Hello viewers, happy new month of August and welcome to yet another episode of Raxio Hour where we bring you up to speed with what is happening at Uganda's first tier 3 and truly neutral enterprise grade data center facility. On this week's episode, we stopped over at our data center site in Namave to capture behind the scenes action as construction of our world class data center nears completion. We also had a chat with one of our local fiber carrier partners, Rock Telecom. The Chief Commercial Officer, Mr. Michael Mokasa, took time to explain what this partnership means to Rock Telecom. My name is Michael Mukasa. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer for Rock Telcom. Uh, Rock Telcom is a communication services provider based in Uganda. We offer both voice and data services to uh, all segments of the market, from the retail market to the corporate market to the multinational companies. Rock Telecom has network across Uganda in all regions, including the northern, eastern, western and central regions. Uh, we use uh, fiber optic technology primarily uh, based on uh, GPON. Uh, GPON gives us the capability to deliver up to 100 gigabytes per second of data rate to any customer on our network. In addition to this, we also offer wireless services uh, over our fiber backbone and this uh, wireless network uh, can be accessed either through a Wi-Fi hotspot or through a home user CPE. Um, I believe that Raxio is a real game changer in Uganda. Um, we made the choice to go with Raxio primarily because uh, to date there has been no carrier neutral data center facility in Uganda and Raxio being the very first one, we believe that it's going to be a game changer both in terms of uh, international connectivity uh, to the likes of Seacom, uh, the teams under uh, Teams Submarine Cable, the Easy Cable, um, to international operators, uh, the likes of uh, Safaricom, the likes of uh, Telecom uh, South Africa, and Internet Solutions, and many others that we can name. Secondly, uh, market is moving towards cloud services. And I believe uh, with our current work from home offer, most of our customers want seamless connectivity to cloud service providers such as Google and also Microsoft. And we believe Raxio will be a very key component in providing these services. We have a variety of different kinds of customers. By segment, we usually segment them into individual retail and corporate co customers. Uh, I believe that Raxio is critical in servicing all of these. Um, we have a package for the individuals called Rockspot, which is a very popular Wi-Fi service. Um, this service requires a very high level of capacity and we believe that Raxio is helping us to deliver this capacity to our users. Uh, in addition for the residential market, the trend to work and study from home uh, due to the COVID pandemic is something we're responding to by offering uh, work from home, study from home package. And uh, this is, Raxio is going to help us to connect to the cloud service providers that make this package work for our home users. Uh, the U UIXP Uganda Internet Ex Exchange Point has been um, a great facilitator of business in Uganda. It allows operators around Uganda to connect to each other. For example, we no longer have to exchange uh, traffic with our local partners such as MTN and Uganda Telecom uh, via international links. We can exchange it locally here within Uganda, which is a big cost savings to us. In addition to that, the Uganda Internet Exchange Point hosts most of the global caches, um, the likes of Facebook, uh, Google, YouTube, um, and so it makes our users have a more seamless and uh, I would call a higher, higher quality service, quality of service uh, when they access these services. Thank you, Michael. Let's now talk to engineer Isaac Serwada. 
Head of Capital Projects at Umeme Limited to tell us more about Umeme's delivery of Operation Critical Power Equipment to Raxio Data Center. As Umeme, our mandate is to distribute power within the Ugandan boundaries in our territory, power that is reliable and must be available. Uh, we get power as distributors from UETCL and specifically for this project, we are getting power from the Chiwanga substation uh, along the 33 KV cable into the RMUs that are going to be installed at uh, this data center. We shall have a metering unit as well installed to take care of the energy measurements. Uh, in terms of reliability, we are looking at putting another leg in terms of feed from the new Namambe South UTCL substation, which is yet to be commissioned, and that will form part of the reliability ring, whereby in case in case power is lost from one leg of the supply, let's say from Chiwanga, then you can easily supply it from the other side of the substance. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on our social media platforms for more news about Raxio Data Center. Until next time, stay safe.